Hi everybody, it's Louise Plant here with my 144 topics and this week we're talking about super fruits. Now I'm just going to do some introduction about super foods and what they are and why they're important and then I'm just basically going to go through, through some super fruits that are good for us to be eating and why. So superfoods, where does it come from? It's a term that we hear quite often now. You know, the advent of the internet, the advent of food going across the globe, the fact that things are becoming more openly known and we're becoming more global and understanding more global things really is introducing more foods to us that we didn't know existed. So, you know, if maca is a food that's um, not a super fruit, but maca is a food that, you know, we've, we've heard of, people are starting to use now, it's become quite commonplace. Um, things like noni juice as well has become quite commonplace. So, you know, the the global sharing thing has brought a lot of more of that about. So why do we have superfoods and what are they? So basically superfoods um, basically are foods that are high in, they've got high healing properties so they'll be high in nutritional values, they'll often have more than a dozen uh, medicinal or healing or therapeutic or or you know basically healing and health preventing or health promoting benefits. Um, usually they ideally can compose of things like live food, ideally organic food sources are going to be really good for, um, for superfoods, um, organic uh, raw ideally, so again once we cook foods we can lose some of the neutral values that we have. You know fermented foods they're often pretty much superfoods as well, nuts, seeds, sprouts, seaweeds and then of course fruit and veg so they're going to be good sources of that so this week I'm just really focusing on fruits to be having so uh, why else do we have superfoods because also you know we've got we've increased food production we're very good at, at mass production of food now but with the mass production of food becomes more more refined foods more processed foods so all superfoods are, are never going to be anything with a barcode and they're never going to be anything in a packet. They're always going to be whole food sources. So they are superfoods. They're very high in, in their, their abilities to heal and to do the certain things that they do. So as with the increase of the processed food, so comes the increase of autoimmune disorders, the increase in cancer, diabetes, heart disease, all these other conditions that basically come with that. And so we might be living longer, but our quality of life is actually getting less and less. So we are now living in an age where our children can almost, you know, pass away before we do because of the, the toxins and the, the rubbish, basically, that we're exposed to, that we're eating. So having more superfoods in our diet is actually going to be a beneficial thing to do. And an easy way to look at that is to see all the colours. So making sure that you're eating a whole rainbow of colours on a regular daily basis. So yesterday I had some coconut water, I had some strawberries, some blueberries, a mango, banana, basically put it into a into the blender, mixed it up, okay, and that was a bit of breakfast for me. So that would be a very good super fruit smoothie to be having. So the other couple of things is, you know, we do have an increased awareness of what we're eating now. And not only is there an increased awareness, but there's also an increased awareness of the consciousness of the food. So my daughter has a blueberry plant called, called Clarence and if she moves house, Clarence goes with her. So of course she loves Clarence, she's always talking to Clarence, she's giving Clarence lots of love. Um, so Clarence is producing these wonderful berries from someone who just adores him. It's Clarence for him. So you know this plant's being very much adored and loved by my daughter. Now that's going to have a different consciousness of food compared to something that's just mass produced, something that's you know grown in rows, uh, pumped full of chemicals and whatever it is to grow with no care for the actual plant. And that is the consciousness of the food that's actually going to start changing a lot. We're going to become very more aware and we actually take on the consciousness of that food. So what can superfoods do? They are basically uh, ideally seasonal, ideally fresh. They're very high in antioxidant activities. They're very high estrogen, um, estrogen very high, sorry, um, nutritional values, very high ox, uh, antioxidants, and we will, I will talk about that in another recording. They're usually conscious food. 
um, fruit and vegetable, but they're also adaptogenic. And adaptogenic is something that's actually going to make us feel good. It's going to make us feel better. Another word that we I could use here is a trophy restorative. So that means that they're very building and they're also very able to engender a good sense of well-being and to make people basically feel good. So when we take more superfoods, you know, they're going to help us to de detoxify. They're going to help us to clean our system out. You know, they're going to help us with weight issues that we've got. They're going to help reduce disease. So I've got a list that I'm going to go through here and you'll have to excuse me. I will use some of my notes. So David Wolf has a book, Superfoods. You're, you know, go and check that out. He has 10 superfoods there. He talks about goji berries cacao, um, spirulina, uh, microplankton, algae, hemp seeds, um, uh, aloe vera, coconuts, maca and bee pollen. So there his 10 there that he talks about. So why have I picked super fruits? So we're just going to go with fruits today. Basically fruits are very high in nutrients. They're high in uh, you know, lycopene, carotenoids, uh, biflavonoids, flavonoids. Um, colouring components, fiber, lignans, so they're very high in these phytonutrients which are really really good for us. Um, they're very high in water. The fact that they've got fiber as well as natural sugars means it's a better source of energy for us to be having than say eating a Mars bar, like it's actually going to be a lot better to have some of these natural fruits with natural sugars. Often very high in vitamins, very high in minerals, but they're also very low in fat. Um, and they're very easy for us to digest. So very easy to digest and very easy to consume. So they're going to be good for us. So I'm just going to go through a list of, say, about 10 here that we're going to go through. I don't have time to go through. If you want to know more, let me know. Um, I do have this online. You can quite easily, you know, get access to this information. So the first one's goji berries. Um, goji berries are known, uh, the, the Chinese were very known for their longevity. They really were into living long lives. And, you know, it was a 500-year-old Taoist sage. And they said, what's your secret? And he said, goji berry soup. So they're very, very cardio protective. They're very protective of the body, very um, soothing. You know, they're, they're antioxidants, so they're high in antioxidants. So remember, anything that has good color in there is always gonna be very good for us. So the other group that's really good for color is berries. So all berries, whether raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, black currants, Logan berries, um, all the different berries. Um, Raspberries are very high in allergic acid, so they're actually very good for toning the digest system as well. But all berries are very good, very, very good. So um, in the World War, Second World War, they actually gave berries to the war pilots, to the air, airline, air flight pilots, to help their vision at night because they were that effective. So berries are very good for small blood vessels, large blood vessels. They're very good for reducing... Um, you know, and, and inflammation, they're very good for protecting the heart, very good for reducing atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis, they repair cart cartilage, um, collagen, they stop uh, blood vessels from leaking, so they repair, you know, structure of things, um, reduce diabetes, help eye function, so very good for the micro, micro capillaries, which are commonly found in the eyes and in the kidneys. So berries are really good. Um, in England, they did some studies, uh, there's some documentaries that are pretty good to watch where they actually um, basically were giving people berries uh, for, you know, over a six week period, giving them spinach over a six week period and actually giving them tomatoes over a six week period and noticeable changes in their health, um, in their well-being just from introducing those foods. So the next one is kakadu palm or garamal. Now this is one of the highest sources of vitamin C and I chose something Australian here as well. So it's just very good for you, very high in nutrients. Um, yeah, just a rich, rich source of vitamin C, um, which is going to be always good to know because some of our sources of vitamin C, are, you know, some of them can be made from genetically modified corn and we don't know where those sources are coming from. So having a food-based vitamin C would al always be good. Areola cherry is another good one as well. So that would be on my super fruit list too. 
Um, aloe vera, a very good healer, very good for stabilizing. It's also an immunostimulator, so it contains immunostimulating polysaccharides, so it actually boosts the immune system into action. So not only is it high in vitamins, minerals, it's almost a complete protein food as well. It's got something like 18 amino acids in it. Um, great food, again, you can just add it to your smoothies or find other ways to actually be having it. Hemp seed um, is basically a complete protein food. It's very high in amino acids, a great source of essential fatty acids. So it's got 35% protein, 47% fats, and 12% carbohydrates, but these are all good sources of that. So if you're a vegetarian or vegan, getting some hemp seeds into you regularly would always be a fantastic idea. Coconut. Coconut was actually used in the Second World War and they used it as a plasma replacement. So it was actually put into our blood system because it, it, it's non-toxic. It's totally, totally so good for us. The benefits of coconut oil, coconut juice is many, 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 but it's also got antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial, you know, it reduces tapeworms and parasites. So it almost has that, that healing and sort of protective activity to it as well. Bananas are a, a very good source of uh, potassium. One banana will give you 10% of your potassium for the day. Um, very good for depression, very good for reducing stress, very good for constipation, for diarrhea, um, for ulcers, lowering blood pressure, um, for bones, for the kidneys, so a very good tonic as well. Next one, apples. Apples, Don Tolman believes apples are good for every single body system. So high in antioxidants, high in fiber, um, very good for your teeth. You know the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so got to be some truth to that. Avocados, avocados have the doctrine of signatures, which means they look like little wombs. So you would take the little seed out of them and, you know, there's a little womb in there. So to me, I call avocados a multivitamin mineral pill. So they're just very high in nutrients and give you that, that nutritional, um, very good sources of oils. Like these are the good oils that we want to be having. Forget the potato chips, forget the cooked chips, the hot chips, all that sort of stuff. Avocado would be the better source of oil. Um, oranges, oranges, the pith of the orange are high in flavonoids and the inside of the oranges are deemed to be high in vitamin C. They wouldn't be the high sources that we have unless you're getting a citrus fresh. If you're getting citrus fresh off the tree, then great. If you're getting it from a supermarket, it could be a little bit doubtful how long they've been in there because, um, you know, the vitamin C can, can break down very fast and especially if they're under fluorolites, that doesn't help too. A few more here, papayas. Papayas are one of our highest enzyme containing foods, very healing. So it's extremely high in enzymes, um, very good for burns if you're taking it topically. So just having small amounts of it is just going to increase the enzyme activity. It's going to reduce the incidence of things like um, atherosclerosis and arteriosclerosis and things like that. Um, very good for uh, boosting immune system and then reducing uh, possibilities of immaculate degeneration, which is cataracts and such. Then rosehip. Rosehip makes a very good syrup. It's a very good syrup that you can make. It used to be made, used to be able to get hold of a rosehip syrup, which was a very good vitamin C, vitamin C source. Not so easy to get hold of that. Very good for um, bowel movements and keeping the bowels happy. And then the last one I've got here is tomatoes, which is a very good natural source of lycopene, which is the red colouring in there. They've got chambers like the heart, so very good in preventative for the heart. And as I mentioned before, you know, studies have shown that if you're having it regularly on a daily basis, you know, after about a six-week period, that you will start to see some effects there. So um, tomatoes also will protect against the DNA and DNA damage, and they will also help reduce uh, blood clotting as well. So very good cardiotonics. So that's all for today on um, the topic on super fruits. Hope to see you again. If you want to find out more, let me know. If you want any help or advice with any dietary information, then let me know. Um, yeah, there's a call. If you want more information about this content, just contact me, louiseplant.com.au, and I will quite happily direct you to where you can get hold of this information, um, which really gives you more in-depth information about the fruits, 
their, um, you know, what they contain, their vitamins, their minerals, plus their health benefits. Until then, in my 144 topics, we're still on the topics of connection. So these topics are very much about connecting to the body. So, you know, what do we need to do to connect to the body? So next week, we're going to connect to the body with super vegetables. So super foods that are vegetables. Till then, take care. Seeing you always in health and always in happiness. Bye.